Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Web Monkey. And yes, today I am wearing my fancy glasses because I'm trying to look like a very, very smart person. But no, seriously, I actually found out a few weeks ago that I have an eye problem called uh, astigmatism. So if you're very familiar with, with what that is, that's exactly what I do have. And I need to wear these glasses in order to fix uh, the problem. But anyways, we're not here to talk about my eye defect. We're here to talk about the five new changes you need to be aware of with WordPress 5.9. Now, a few days ago, I made a video telling you about the upcoming WordPress 5.9. Now it's been officially released. So in today's video, I'm going to point out to you the five main features you need to be aware of and how best to make use of them. Now, I did promise in the previous video as well that I was going to make another video talking about the new WordPress theme in 2022 and also how to make use of the new uh, theme editor. I promise you the video is still work in progress. I'm going to release it as soon as I can. But without further ado, let's talk about the five new features you need to be aware of with WordPress 5.9. So the first thing to mention here is going to be the navigation menu. There is a new navigation menu button or block which you would find in your themes section. So just below our widgets right here, you will see navigation. Let me first of all choose a menu to work with. So I'm going to select the main menu and right here by default, you will actually have the orientation for your menu items being a horizontal. But then of course you can change that to vertical where you now have the menu items listed vertically. But the really cool stuff is under the display where you can now choose three different ways to display your menu. The first option here is off. What this simply means is that your menu will never be responsive. It will always be displayed in this particular manner regardless of what the screen size is. Now mobile is going to be the classic responsive feature where when the screen is wide enough to display the menu fully like what you're seeing right now, WordPress will do so. But then when the screen size gets smaller to the point where it's not wide enough anymore, that's when you'll now have the classic uh, hamburger menu up here, which is the always feature. When you choose the always feature, it doesn't matter how large the screen size is, WordPress will always display your menu in the hamburger format, which is actually cool because you may have noticed that there's this kind of new trend in web design where, you know, they no longer want to show the menu items. All they will show you is basically the hamburger menu. You click on the hamburger menu and then you will see the menu items in there. So if you're interested in that kind of design, you now have the option to do so. The next feature is going to be the newly improved uh, text controls for your text blocks. Now I've added the paragraph block in here and let me just type in some gibberish, okay, just to demonstrate. Right now on the typography, when you click in there, you will have access to different features like the appearance of the text, line height, letter case, and letter spacing. I'm gonna go ahead now and check all of them. So we have the options to play with them. So right now you can see we now have size, first of all. So in here, you can choose whether it's gonna be extra small, small, large, and so on. You can also click in here where you have this particular uh, icon. What this does is that you can choose a custom size right off the bat. So you can say 53.5 pixels, uh, 59.7 pixels, and so on. You click back in there and you can choose the traditional uh, sizes that WordPress will offer you. Of course, you also have appearance where you can choose things like the font weight, whether it's going to be thin, uh, extra light, bold, whether you want it to be italic and so on. And of course, you have line height, letter spacing options, and of course, letter case. Now, in comparison, WordPress 5.8, all you had here was going to be the font size and of course the option to do the drop cap. There was no idea, any other option for like line height and things like that. So with WordPress 5.9, you now have a lot more options to modify uh, the text that you want to display on your website. Number three is going to be patterns. Now, patterns isn't something that is, that is new. We've ha already had patterns before in WordPress, but there's actually now a whole new directory for your blog patterns. And right here, you can see them. You go to wordpress.org forward slash patterns. But to make use of them, what you want to do is, let me just go ahead right now and try to uh, add a pattern. So instead of blocks, I'm going to go to patterns right here. And of course, you can see we have different options for like, you know, buttons, columns. I'm going to go with text. So I click on text and right now you can see we have quite a few options in here. I can simply choose any one I want. So I want to choose the second one in here that has media and text with an image on the left. I'm going to click in there 
and right now you can see we do have the pattern in my block and of course i can make whatever edits that i wanted to make however with the directory a question i might have here is how do we make use of the patterns that we have in the directory because there are a lot more options available from the directory than what you would get in your wordpress backend so it's actually very 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 simple what you want to do is this when you hover on any one of these patterns you will see the copy button. So let's say I want to make use of this particular pattern that has the apple in, in, uh, as an image and then the text. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy. You can see it says copied. I'm gonna go back to my page and I'm simply going to right click, make sure you have a block that's highlighted. You can see right now it's blinking saying, okay, what do you wanna add in here? Simply right click in there and paste and there you go. Now I do have the block, or I'm sorry, I do have the pattern right now on my page. And obviously from here, I can begin to make whatever edits that I want to make. One thing I need to point out here though, is that sometimes the particular uh, structure that you might have in the directory, you may not get that exact same structure when you paste the pattern on your page. This could be due to the fact that you're using a theme that has a very narrow, uh, 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 width for i'm sorry I, I i blanked out right there it could be because your theme has a very narrow width for like the content area maybe the content area isn't wide enough to accommodate the pattern as it's described in the directory so just be aware of that one thing you will get though is you'll get all the content it might just be the structure that might be a little bit different but the point here is that when you make use of patterns and i will encourage you to do so because it's a lot faster than building the content right from scratch. I mean, you want to have in your head, you want to create a block that has two columns. One column has an image. Uh, the other column has some text. Instead of you like, okay, going to the blocks, adding columns and so on, you can just go straight to patterns, look for the particular kind of pattern that you like, simply copy it, paste it on your page and then make whatever edits that you want to make. And trust me, it's going to be uh, a lot faster. So that's how to make use of the newly improved uh, patterns with WordPress 5.9. Number four on the list is actually the newly improved list feature. Now, this is something I already covered in my previous video, but just in case you missed it, when you click on the list uh, button right here on your page, you will have access to all the blocks that make up your page. This isn't something new. However, what is new is the fact that you can now rearrange the blocks right there. So say for example, I wanted to move my very first paragraph all the way down to the bottom of my page. I can click, hold, drag, and then drop it right there at the bottom as you can see. Let me, let me do that again. That didn't quite work. There you go. So now you can see it actually uh, worked. We now have the first paragraph being the last paragraph on the page. So this is the newly improved uh, list feature available with WordPress 5.9. Now, last but not least is going to be the newly improved gallery block with WordPress 5.9. Now, as you can see, I've already added a block of five images in here, making up my gallery. These are five flags of different countries. Now, the new feature is that you can now crop or add a dot on filter to your individual images. So say for example, I clicked on the president flag right now. You can see I do have the crop button in here. I can crop this image if I wanted to, or I could even apply a dual tone filter. I click on the button right there and I can choose, let's say this particular filter right there. And now you can see I've changed the Brazilian flag to uh, whatever this is. So you have these two new features. Now in comparison, this is WordPress 5.8. When you add your images, the only thing you could actually do is just to add a, cop a, a caption or just change the image. You could not crop the images in your gallery. You could not apply any filters. But with WordPress 5.9, the newly improved gallery block, you now have those features available. That's it, guys. The five new features you need to be aware of with WordPress 5.9. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share it to anyone who may feel might benefit from it. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these features? Which ones are you going to be working with the most? And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you're new here, please do subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, like I said earlier in, in the introduction, in the next few days, I'm going to release the new video talking about the uh, new theme editor with WordPress 2022. I will see you then. Have a fantastic weekend ahead.